Guys, and here we go. Guys, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. It is greatly appreciated. So easily one of the uh, most requested videos that I've ever gotten. I mean, they come in weekly, if not daily. I get emailed, uh, you know, when am I going to review the... Uh, Char Griller 980 against the Master Built 800 or 1050. Well, today is that day. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically take both pits. I have the 800 behind me and I have the uh, Char Griller 980 there. I've been using both. People that follow my channel know I've got well over 200 cooks with the Master Built and probably about 20, 25 cooks with the Char Griller. That is enough time for me to make a good comparison between the two, to talk about the pluses, the minuses of each pit, and what has been upgraded on the second generation of affordable gravity feds for backyard pit masters. So yes, I am calling the Masterbuilt 800 still generation one, and the Char Griller generation two, and look, although the Masterbuilt 800 came out the following year, it's pretty much the same pit as the 1050 and 560. There's been some very minor upgrades with the, uh, the grates that hold the uh, fuel. Some of the buttons under the hood have been upgraded. And of course, you got that griddle, and we will talk more about that. But the basic pit of the 800, the Inyards, the motor, the transmission of what makes the 800 run, which is basically the fan control panel, is all pretty much the same. So to me, we are still in generation one of the master build. Underneath both pits, I am going to keep a number. There will be one under the master build. There will be one under the char griller. And right dead center, there's going to be a number. If we're talking about the front shelf and I give it to the char griller, I'm going to put a one underneath. I'll keep the running tally throughout the comparison, and then I'll give you my closing thoughts. So one major design difference that we will touch on more is the way the fan works on the uh, master build as well as the uh, char griller. On the master build, she blows from underneath into the uh, fuel, and on the uh, char griller, she blows from the outside into the fuel, and that definitely does impact the smoke flavor on the food and more about that later. Right, so look, first up, what I want to talk about is just overall design of each pit and general appearance. And that's going to bring us right to the char griller up first. Guys, I had some technical difficulties with sound. No big deal. Right off the bat, we are in the meat and potatoes of both pits, and that is the uh, cooking surfaces. On the uh, char griller, that middle or top rack is a total waste. Anything low and slow, or if you're grilling steaks, you cannot even reach the back of the pit. But one thing I do like is the five-piece removable porcelain-coated cooking grates. And from there, if you remove the uh, cooking grates, you have that heat assembly and that heat distribution plate. Man, that is a game changer with gravity fed. I don't even think I've ever had a pit that distributes the heat as evenly as the Char Griller 980. And that includes all my uh, pellet grills. Oh, yeah. 
and there is the heat assembly that pushes the heat through the pit it comes up it hits that plate and like i said man it just heats everything pretty evenly and that is a uh, good job there by char griller all right guys so look that being said let's jump over and take a look at the master build So look over on the uh, master built side, evenly as frustrating as the uh, cooking grate setup for me, that top shelf right there never even goes in the pit. It is a uh, total waste for me. I don't understand it. I know there's a collapsible system with these, uh, with these grates in the master build. I have yet to figure it out, nor do I even want to try. Sweet spot for this pit is that middle grate right there. I do all my low and slows on that middle grate while I put a uh, pan under the uh, under the bottom grate right there it just gets too hot to do any low and slows on the uh on the bottom grate of the master build so again middle shelf for me and hey man i know master build has the uh the smoke setting and grill setting on those grates i don't think they do anything there is the heat assembly with no top plate over it it basically just pushes the heat straight up and causes many hot spots in the uh, pit let me break it down live all right guys so let me see if i could just sum that up i am dealing with a bunch of lawn services out here but hey man we will get through this together oh yeah so here we go right off the bat man this is this is a tough choice for me because i have to say when i do long cooks i love having a drop pan underneath the char gorilla doesn't give you that option as you are going to cook on the uh you know, 95% of your cooks are going to be on the bottom rack. On the uh, master built, 95% of your cooks are going to be on that middle shelf. And I am talking long cooks. So therefore, the master built does give you the option to put that drip tray underneath, which is definitely what I prefer. That being said, one cannot overlook what the char griller has brought to the table with that plate that sits over the heat assembly. That, my friends, is a game changer right off the bat. The uh, master built grates are just about as funky as the uh, char griller, as this middle or this top shelf on the char griller is basically useless. I mean, once that is in place, you have no room in the back of the pit to flip anything. If you had some steaks on back there, you were grilling some steaks, you're hard pressed to uh, turn anything. So there's design flaws in both of these bits. That being said, again, one cannot overlook that heat assembly on the char griller. But look, while we are under the hood on the master built, I have to give props to master built for that griddle. That thing is pretty amazing on how it works on a quick switch. You could be griddling, man, which is great for people that can't have, you know, black stones and master builds and Weber's in their backyard. It gives you the option to griddle and it doesn't use as much fuel to do it as one would think. So that is great props on that for master build. Guys, so let's talk about the control panels on both pits. Look, I'm not really sold on the char grill or on that turbo mode. It really means nothing to me. As both these pits will get up to temperature in, I mean, you know, I, I did a video on it. I think it went from 200 to 700 in under five minutes. So for me, the turbo mode means nothing. The uh, master bill comes with four probes and the char griller has a slot for two probes. Again, really means nothing to me as I use independent probes in both pits. So I'm gonna give this a draw. Guys, so look, let's just jump into how these pits handle the heat. How do these controllers work? And to that, it's gotta go to the master built. On my char griller, it overshoots every time. I've put it on film so you guys can see it. So if I got the controls set to 300, the master build will hit that 300 mark and will sit there. It'll stop. The char griller will overshoot it to 350 and then back back down and then come back down. But hey man, it takes a little time for it to do that. But once these pits settle, they settle and sit there. But for this one, it's got to be the master build. Right, guys, so look, while we were talking temps, the... Uh, Char griller does not come with a hood thermometer, 
while a master belt does and although the master belt one is pretty much a waste it is still one there and even though i really don't use them or really don't trust them i do like to have the option of a uh, a hood thermometer on the hood so i'm going to give that one to master build guys great quality for searing i know the uh, master build has a, a smoke setting on the grate and a uh, also you flip it it's a wood or a, uh, a sear setting uh, i don't really buy any of that stuff i do not like the cast iron grates on the uh, master build i never have and i definitely prefer the char grillers grates which are porcelain coated and are in five sections and are also dishwasher safe. So definitely prefer the char griller. So guys, let's look at the uh, table on both pits. And first we will go over to the master built. Pretty much a waste, pretty much useless. I'm not even sure why it's there. As you really, there, there's just no clearance underneath here. I mean, uh, somebody at Masterville must have looked at that and said, why are we even putting it there? They, they could have designed something different to make this table more useful. Guys, now over here on the, uh, on the char griller, look at the difference, man. You got a lot, of, uh, a lot of space over here to put plates. You do have to be careful when you open the uh, hood. Some have complained, I guess, if you're a little shorter about getting burnt over here on this so you definitely have to be careful here but the overall design of the front shelf is simple that goes to char griller so your side shelves for a uh, master built is a solid shelf it has your tool holders there on the uh on the side the system works well and over on the uh, char griller you got those little holes you got the same type tool holders and hey man it works well over there also so look on the uh, side shelves i definitely have to give that over to char griller i do like the holes in it it just allows moisture just to go right on through same thing with the uh, bottom shelf on the uh, char griller i just dig that a little bit more guys so real quick i know i am going to differ to uh some of the other opinions out there i've read them but for me the rear vent is useless and i'll tell you why um i don't mess around with it um, i usually forget it's there and i'm guessing that about you know 70 percent of backyard pit masters wouldn't even know how to adjust it especially ones that are just getting into the game i prefer a design that just works a design that works better for the pit and doesn't have anything you got to tinker around with as far as rear vents and so forth so for me i prefer the back design of the master build 800 over the rear design of the char griller 980. guys now look i know that opinion is not going to be popular so leave me a comment down below and let me have it guys and look we are moving right along into the hopper now both hoppers are about the same size to me both hoppers are in a burn about the same but i gotta hand it to char griller they have improved the hopper as it comes apart in sections where the master build doesn't so if there's a problem with the master build hopper i'm pretty sure you got to uh, replace the whole hopper we're on the uh, char griller again it's in sections the fan on the char griller 980 personally i don't like it it is just one more thing that you have to remember as far as unlatching your fan i also prefer the uh, fan design on the master build as i showed you in the beginning of the show the fan design pushes in this way where the uh, char griller pushes in this way and that definitely does make a difference and let's explain why while both these pits are going to put out amazing food, if it is smoke flavor you're into, that is going to go over to the master build. And look, reason being, back to the uh, fan design on the uh, char griller, if you put wood chunks down in the ash catcher and add too many wood chunks in the hopper, it's going to burn the fan flop. To me, that is a design flaw. So even though the uh, char griller has improved on many aspects of the first generation master build, that is clearly a misstep. Over on the master build, I've never had a problem with wood chunks, man. I put a half a Weber chimney in the uh, hopper 
and I'll put three or four wood chunks in, go with another half of chimney, and that'll take it halfway full, and I'll dump another three, four in, and I'll also add three, four down in the ash catcher, and I've never had a problem with the flap, and it definitely puts the smoke on the food a little bit more than the char griller does. Right into customer service, I'm gonna put that as a draw. When I got my char griller, I did have a, uh, a problem with the fan, and they were quick to send me out another one. Now, hey man, just because I'm an influencer, I did do the research on the char griller Facebook groups, and they definitely take care of their pit as well as does master build so that is a definite draw if you invest in any one of these pits and have a problem you will get taken care of so look grease management and the way that they handle the grease and move the grease to land in the tray has to go over to char griller i don't know what it is with the master built and the way that it handles grease, it has happened to me, I believe on the 560 and a little bit on the 1050, not so much here on the 800, but it has to be exactly level or it will not move the grease and trust me, it will find its way down a leg and drip on your deck or on your concrete. I've read about it, so it isn't only me, but it is many people in the Facebook groups so, hey, man, when it comes to grease, you got to give it the char griller. Now, look, for me, unfortunately, man, I'll, I'll take either one of them. I do enjoy the smoke flavor a little bit better on the master build, and I definitely enjoy the griddle. But I do like the uh, space on that bottom shelf on the uh, char griller, man. So I know you guys are going to say this is a... Uh, this is a cop out. He didn't give which one he likes better. And all I could say is, man, I'm gonna revert back to the numbers down below because really what is important for me, which I just named, is important to me. What's important to you guys is important to you guys. So I'm just here to tell you, I know there's been a lot of opinions out there on which is the better pit. I am telling you from my experience, it is too tough to call. I will take either one of these pits. They are both top of the market on what they do. They will both outcook any pellet grill. I don't care which pellet grill it is. These pits are going to out smoke them, period. All right, guys. So look, that is it. And look, I know my opinion here ain't going to be the... Uh, ain't the popular choice but it is what it is all i did was come outside turn the camera on and start rambling things off about both pits take it in the house in the edit room and start jotting the numbers down below underneath it turned out six six trust me i ain't that well thought out i said it before and i'll say it again You'd be lucky to own any one of these gravity feds in your backyard. They are backyard game changers. They will change the way you smoke and grill food. I guarantee it. So look, guys, leave me a comment down below and uh, dispute me, man. Let me know what you think. I welcome all comments as I roll my Patreons and YouTube join members. Let's get into it. Until next time, we will see you soon.